I can live more comfortably for simple pleasures. I'm not looking for the big things. If I wanted some big stuff, I can go buy it, but I don't need it. I just need to be happy. This is so much more different than in America because like she didn't want a fancy ring. She didn't want a you know, ring that cost thousands. Uh, so I couldn't refuse. So we, we were engaged then. My ex-wife kind of put a curse on me. And she said, my ex-wife said, you will never find a woman better than me. So I felt like I was kind of like the beauty and the beast. And I was a beast and... I felt like maybe she's right. I can't find a woman better than my ex until she came along and then she broke the curse and she broke the curse for me to be a prince so I can be her man. So I'm very grateful that she broke the curse and now I do have a better woman than my ex. A lot of guys, of course, think, oh, the Filipino women are just looking to come to America for a better life. She wants to stay home. She wants to stay with the family. She's not looking to go to America to where the showers are in a convenience store. She wants to stay here. But yeah, she wants better here, but she wants to stay home. Not everybody wants to go run into America because it's the place to be. You know, the cost of living here is a little bit less. It's, you know, so I can live more comfortably for simple pleasures. I'm not looking for the big things. If I wanted some big stuff, I can go buy it, but I don't need it. I just need to be happy. So as long as I'm happy, I'm good. And what I was looking for was traditional, family-oriented, hardworking people, which Filipinos are. She just, uh, you were really nice, really educated, like a really gentle man, and she just really had a good time and b knew that she wanted to be with well, you. After that date, because then I just cancelled everything else. Yeah, they cancelled all the stories. Ah, she got nervous. So once she cancelled everything, then she got nervous. Best Let's see. money ever spent. Good. <laughs> That's best money ever spent. See. Si. So yes. If you if For you think one. about. <laughs> Finding a nice girl in another country, yeah. you, we are here, the VIP, the Elite Medellin, and the VIP, the Elite Club service, you have video calls, you have correspondence, and you have in-person dates where you are accompanied all the time, like from the first moment from the process until the last moment, you were always with your translator as well, yeah. she was with you, Nicole was great too, right? And um, oh, the land of half price. <laughs> yes. Everything's half really price here. <laughs> So, and you're actually thinking about living here, right? I am, yeah, yeah. Kiss for the camera! Uh, <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> She's really shy, she didn't want to do the video. <laughs> she, she didn't want to do the video, so thank you so much. expensive it is or you know stressing out what budget or whatever I can understand that but you're talking about a, you know a relationship that's going to last your lifetime you're talking about one of the most important things you're ever going to do is find somebody that you're connected to in your heart right? and be tight with it so what does money have to do with any of that and if it costs you a little bit who cares <laughs> you know what are you going to do you going to take it with you I'd much rather have a relationship with a woman like you than have all the money in the world. Searching for that one special woman to complete your life? Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. Angelsofpassion.com if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. 
Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.